This video is going to explain how to build a more complicated calculator than just a unit converter using HTML and JavaScript. Uh, for this particular assignment, we're looking at designing a beam calculator uh, for like I beams, H beams, and so forth. Um, so what I've done is uh, I've got a link in the description here to the original video that discusses the basics, the basic intro of JavaScript and HTML and you can follow that but I used that code and I've modified it into this new code so this new code actually calculates the moment of inertia of a solid box beam um, and this shows just the very basics of how you're going to convert something as simple as a unit converter into something more useful like a calculator so the first thing is we go back to the HTML in the body uh, this line creates this line on my page. So I wrote the text base equals just so I would have something here to describe what this box, what you should type in this box. Uh, and I have inches as the units. And so then I have the code here of uh, creating a text input with the name base and the ID base. And so that's what this text box is called, is base. I have a line break, so I move to the next line down, and I do the same exact thing except I use height instead of base. So my name for this is height, my ID is a height. Then I do another line break, and uh, I have a new button. So that's this button here, and it is an input type of a submit button. The name is button, the ID is button 1. And the important part here is on click. That means when the button is clicked, what should you do? It's going to run the function with this name, moment of inertia calc. And if I look at my JavaScript code, it's got the script here, then it says function moment of inertia calc. So when I click this button, it's going to do the code that exists between this curly brace and this curly brace. Um, now, I've only done the very simple, basic uh, moment of inertia calculation here. You're going to actually have multiple functions, probably, because you have to do uh, with an I-beam versus an H-beam. There's different ways of calculating multiple moments of inertia and combining them in a certain way, either the positive and negative space or breaking up individual pieces of it and adding them together. Then you also have to do a deflection. Uh, calculation and then you also have to figure out the mass of the beam uh, and compare that to the amount of uh, weight the beam can support um, and so what we're going to look at is uh, when you click this button it's going to run this code and the first thing we do is we create a variable called base variable or base var and we look at the document, which is our HTML document, and we get the element by the ID named base. So we're going to get this text box because whenever I created this text box, it has the ID base. We're going to get the value out of that text box and store it into this variable. And so that's what that line of code does. Similarly, we're going to do the exact same thing with our height variable. So when the button is clicked, it pulls in our base variable, uh, our base number, into base var, and it pulls whatever's typed into this box, our height number, into a variable called height var. This line is the line that does the magic at this point. All this is is the formula for moment of inertia. And so if you would remember, it's base times height cubed divided by 12. Now, in some calculators, you can do uh, something like this, height var, and you use a little caret symbol, and you cube it that way. However, in JavaScript, this doesn't work because the little caret symbol doesn't work like you imagine it would. So we have to actually expand this into the function of height var times height var times height var, or height times height times height. And so that's what we're looking at right here. This is actually just height var cubed. 
and we are multiplying that by the base value and then we're dividing the result of that by 12 and that is our moment of inertia that's the basic calculation now this is for a box beam a solid box beam but if you had a hollow box beam of course you would have two moments of inertia you would have the positive space and then you would subtract the moment of inertia of the negative space and you do the same thing for an I beam you have the positive space subtract the moment of inertia of the negative space uh, with an H beam you split them uh, individually so you have two flanges and one web and you calculate them separately and then add them together um, so you're going to do something a little more complicated than what I've given you here but this is a good starting point uh, the next step is after we calculate the value of our moment of inertia we want to display it to the user and so I create another variable and this variable is called MOI var and it looks at our document and gets the element by ID called MOI and at the very bottom down here I've got some text and I create a text box and the name of this uh, text box is MOI the ID is MOI uh, for moment of inertia and this particular text box here is a read only meaning the user can't type in there the only person who can or the only entity that can put data there is through this script and so that's what we're going to do we say um, we make this variable MOI var point to this text box and then we store the value uh, of this text box we actually store the result of our moment of inertia calculation into it so line by line what this does is gets our base variable gets our height variable from the inputs here it calculates our moment of inertia and stores it in this variable called answer and then it takes that answer and it puts it into this text box and so that's exactly what this code is supposed to do so let's try it out so if I put two inches base by two inches height and click calculate moment of inertia it calculates 1.333 inches to the fourth and that's correct so uh, again this is for a solid box beam you're not allowed to do solid box beam you have to build a composite beam so either a hollow box beam an I beam an H beam a T beam and so forth uh, and you also have to do more than just the moment of inertia I expect you to have um, possibly more functions but depends on how you write it but you'd have m your moment of inertia calculations which you'll probably have multiple since it's a composite beam um, and you're also going to calculate your deflection uh, which you need to calculate the moment of inertia before you calculate deflection and then you're also going to calculate based on the density of the particular type of wood you're using uh, and the volume of your beam what the mass of that beam is and we want to compare the mass of the beam versus the amount of weight it can hold. That's going to give me a good measure to compare different people's beams. And so what we want to do is um, try to calculate, well, what is the mass of a particular beam, such as an I-beam? Um, if you look at an I-beam, it's made up of three rectangular prisms and the rectangular prism has a pretty easy formula for calculating volume so I would calculate volume for each individual rectangular prism add it together then you have the total volume of your beam and then you can use that with the density formula to figure out what the mass of of the beam itself is um, and then of course divide the mass of the the, the beam divided by what the uh, the weight it held the pressure it held before deflecting at 0.1 inches and you can you can see how good that beam is compared to other beam designs and so that's the that's the end goal of this assignment um, so if you have any questions feel free to go to the fab lab talk with the TAs to discuss beam calculations in general or coding help um, you can also email me or set up an appointment with my office hours